Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Okay, I've sent it. Okay, fine. So there is one last part left in this one. Okay, that is synchronization. So we are like, you know, done with the VB scripting also. There is one last part that you are supposed to do in the um, QTP that is called as synchronization. Okay, so let's try to understand the synchronization. So now what happens uh, when you are trying to write the program, okay, so you will be writing in a sequential order, right? You do the recording and then in the sequential order, the script will get recorded for you, all right? Now, let's say in some step, the page is still loading, okay? And there is a click of button over here in the new page, okay? For example, um, you are trying to do the funds transfer right and then the first step is you click on the fund transfer and then you enter all the details and then you know you click on the continue button and after you click on a continue button the next page opens wherein you know you got to click on next and do the confirmation right so all these steps you have recorded one after the other first click on the fund transfer then enter all the details then click on the continue button when you click on the continue button there is some delay over here before the page is loading okay means to move from this page to this page let's say it is going to take about 30 seconds of time and after that there is a next button that is click okay means this statement should execute only after 30 seconds are you understanding the scenario okay so we have recorded the script sequentially wherein we click on the fund transfer then we enter all the details and then we are going to actually click on the continue button when we click on the continue button it is going to take 30 seconds for us to open the new page with all the information loaded then we got to click on the next button but here it is recorded sequentially so what it might do 
it might directly try to click on the next button but still the page is not open it starts giving us the error that it is unable to find the element correct this could be the possibility this kind of errors okay which are happening due to the delay we call them as you know synchronization points i mean i have to have a synchronization point over here means i should tell the qtp please wait do not execute this click of a button till the page gets loaded is it clear, uh, clear everybody okay i should tell the qtp that do not execute the next statement till the 30 seconds is over all right so there are different ways of implementing this synchronization point i can directly use the wait statement okay i can use the wait statement i can tell wait for directly 30 seconds and then it's going to wait for 30 seconds then it will click on the next button okay or i can tell that okay qtp just wait till the page is getting loaded and the next button is getting active okay next button getting active means what the property of this next button okay that is enable property should become true correct the enable property should become true this next button should be active in other words the enable property has to become true correct so i should tell the qtp wait till the enable property of this next button is true how do i do this okay let's try out the synchronization point one simple synchronization is simply you can tell it to wait okay wait for 30 seconds and then it is going to wait for you okay but otherwise what to do fine okay i will record a small script i click on the record button then we go to the start we will use our flight reservation over here then sample application flight i enter the agent name that is priya then i enter the password as mercury okay now i click on the okay button after i click on the okay button it is taking some time to log in do you see all right and then i enter the date of flight over here so i should tell the qtp that please wait till this page is going to open or till the date of flight is going to be active till then it should not try to enter the date okay then i click on okay i'll just close at this point all right so i have to tell the qtp wait till that page is active or wait till the date of flight is active so how do i do that just observe how i will do it i need a synchronization point over here let's see how to uh, insert a synchronization point i click a stop over here and then my i place my cursor here i reopen the application then i log in mercury and then i put the qtp back into the record mode click on this insert and then say synchronization point i click on this date of flight do you see date of flight is captured click on okay then do you see what is the property name i want to see enabled should be equal to true so i am telling the qtp that till the enabled property of this date of flight is true you got to wait okay and here time out is in milliseconds so it is going to wait for this 10000 milliseconds and after that it's going to stop okay 10000 milliseconds is what how much it is is it 10 seconds and then i click on okay so here a synchronization point will be inserted stop this so do you see a synchronization point is inserted over here is it clear everybody so what i am telling here after we click on the button till the new page opens i am telling the qtp please wait you know till the date of light is enabled enabled is equal to true till this is enabled you got to wait okay and if it is it is going to wait typically for 10 seconds after 10 seconds also if this doesn't get opened then it will give us the error okay 
sure i'll explain it again so you can see here we have the code that is written means i enter priya and then i type in the password i click on the okay button when i click on the okay button my flight reservation should open and then i'll be starting to type the date of flight but from this point to this point okay the opening of a page there is few seconds delay over here it takes some time to open the new page for me so i should tell the qtp please do not execute the line number 12 till the page is open till the date of flight is active do not execute the line number 12 so i am inserting one additional statement over here to tell the qtp that please wait till the date of flight enabled is equal to true only after it is true then it should execute the line number 12 for me is that clear what is synchronization sure i'll do it again okay just observe i'm going to delete it delete this statement all right then um, okay i will open the application and keep it ready okay fine it is here anyways it is already opened i click on the record button then i go to the insert synchronization point i click on the date of flight okay so do you see the date of flight is selected over here i click on okay now it is displaying the properties for me add synchronization point class is when object logical name date of flight here i have the list of properties so i want the qtp to wait till the enabled property of this date of flight is equal to true so i enter it here it should be true then only i should execute click on okay do you see this is so simple clear everybody what is this concept there is another way you can do okay instead of doing all this i can simply say wait for 20 seconds this also can be done you can give a simple wait or you can do little bit of high end programming wherein you can you know tell it okay please wait for these many seconds clear everybody any doubts in this yes what about others only ritu is answering what about others okay okay you got tired today yeah because yeah you did lot of work right so you were writing so many programs today <laughs> okay okay fine no problem <laughs> yeah okay so um i have sent a couple of uh, recordings you can check it okay then i will upload today's recording also and then i will send it so materials and recordings are up to date i have to just reply to your emails that part is you know left for me so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770 Seven 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 one two six nine. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at zero two zero three eight 
three three seven one seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.